Hi! Today we finally replaced the original control panel for my CNC lathe with a new one. I am Alex and this is the art of tinkering. So this is the old control panel and uh, as you can see it's quite dirty but um, that doesn't matter. So we have here these different kind of knobs, a couple of LEDs. Um, this for example shows the position of the turret. Uh, we all, of course have an emergency stop um, and a couple of switches to control the, the machine um, and also some rotating knobs and as you can hear these have a very nice mechanical um, snapping sound to them and they also feel quite nice also uh, here in the top this is a display for the um, spindle RPM and that I'm going to to toss out and here was a potentiometer which um, uh, let you control the spindle speed Unfortunately my CNC controller for Linux CNC doesn't have enough I.O. pins to connect all the wires like this To solve this issue I developed a tool to use an Arduino for I.O. expansion and with this I can easily connect as many inputs and outputs to Linux CNC as I want. It also has some special functions to interpret these all selector switches for me. If you want to take a look at it, check out the links in the description. I uploaded the software for the Arduino and also my Linux CNC config to GitHub. Before building I planned the design in Fusion 360. As you can see I kept most of the original switches and knobs but rearranged them a bit. In the middle I will mount a 22 inch touchscreen and below a couple of switches will be mounted to control the lathe manually. The sheet metal I used is a piece I cut out of the old control cabinet of the machine. What you will see in the next couple minutes took me the last couple of months. So I hope you enjoy the progress as much as I did. This is one of the original switches. To glow it up there is a light bulb inside. Ugh, not on my watch. I replaced them in all the switches by digital RGB LEDs. To mount them in the switch I 3D printed new holders for them. Using digital RGB LEDs is very nice since it allows me to easily redefine the color of each switch and also lets me change the colors if its state changes. All LEDs are connected to just one pin on the Arduino. This way we can theoretically connect hundreds of such LEDs. Only the required soldering is a bit painful. I like to build prototypes out of wood. 
The laser cutter makes this quite quick, cheap and easy. So here you can see it cutting a sheet of MDF. It will help me to test the dimensions and the layout. And if everything fits, I can use it as a template.
Here I am gluing an Arduino Mega in a 3D printed case to the backside of the panel. All the buttons, LEDs, the knobs and the potentiometer will be connected to it. The Arduino then sends the commands to Linux CNC over its USB connection. I solder 22K resistors between all the pins of the selector switch, essentially turning it into a potentiometer as well. This way I can connect them to an analog input of the Arduino and calculate the positions in software. If you are interested in building a panel like this yourself, I will link a more specific video about the Arduino I.O. expansion in the description. The blinking LED here in the corner is signaling that the Arduino is not connected to Linux CNC. As soon as Linux CNC is started, it establishes the connection and the LED stops flashing. I have not completely written the HAL connections for all the buttons yet, but I can already turn the machine on and off and start and stop the spindle. The green LED is showing the current rotation position of my turret. I am very happy with the result and I hope you like it too. I think in hindsight I spent far too much time on this. But now I feel like the lathe retrofit project is nearing its finish. I have not yet managed to get the spindle servo running and the hydraulics need some work too. Last but not least, I need to finish the water pump and tubing for flood coolant. So still lots of work ahead, but I can't wait to finally build stuff with this thing. If you would like to find out more about this project, check out my website. If you want to support my work, I welcome you to support this channel by becoming my Patreon. I am also happy every time to read your nice comments. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I look forward to more awesome projects. Until then, tschüss!